now we're going to go through the the basic page and um, before we go through the specifics there we'll talk about how you add a page a new screen so you you would right click on screen and you can select add screen at that point you can give it a name an ID and then I generally make the background white but uh, you can do whatever you'd like there and you click OK and it add a new one to the to the page uh, and then you can navigate to it you can see we can navigate to our other pages and then you can start editing it uh, up here is just some text and we went through that in the last video and then we've got um, we've got a bit lamp that's what this is here and that's just displaying an on off status of a bit and then we've got uh, some buttons All the, they're called uh, bit switches and we've got two different styles of them here um, we can go through that real quick show you what they look like we're tying all of these together uh, they're all going to use the same bit so we can see when I push this one this is a momentary style or it's called inching inside the software you can see when I hold it down it's the one value when I release it's the other the alternate actually switches between the two each time I click these are also tied together they're just they use some custom imagery in order to do this you can see the same functionality uh, so we'll show you how you do those so you use the the bit lamp and I'll pull up the one that we already have on the screen uh, an important thing is you have to define what the bit is that you're controlling and in this case we're using a local bit 200 LB 200 in a lot of cases you'll be connecting to the PLC and you'll use something like 0x whatever the number is uh, but we'll discuss that in another video uh, so you get to with all these buttons and shapes you get to define what the or all these buttons and lamps you get to define what the shape is that's used um, for indicators like this the uh, bit lamps I usually use a circle but that's entirely up to you uh, then you also get to display what the text is in the off state in the on state and you can um, you can set pictures and, and we'll show you that in this example down here Uh, you can also control the colors of it when it's in the on as well as when it's off state. Um, and now uh, we've moved on to the bit switch, which is, is this guy right here. Um, we'll pull them up. It's going to be the same kind of system. We, we attach it to a particular bit. So we're using local bit 200 again. Uh, in this case, you don't have to be monitoring it. It doesn't have to show you, you know, when it changes. But in most cases, we do monitor it, and you're able to say, hey, do you want to monitor the exact same bit, or do you want to be monitoring a different one than you're controlling? Uh, you could do that here. Uh, in our case, we're just we're going to be monitoring the same one that we're controlling. And again, you get to pick the uh, the off text and the on text. We've got the same one in this case. And uh, for this one, I think I chose uh, shape 11 for this example. Um, okay, so that works and like I said, this is a, this is a momentary style one or uh, as we call it inching on the software and you can define what is the value when it's pressed down and then the opposite value is whenever it's released. Um, the only difference here with this alternate other than the text itself is that we've selected it to be an alternate type. So you push it once, it goes on, you push it again, it goes off and so forth. Um, you can do this with your own custom imagery. You don't have to use the built-in imagery. Um, for that, what we do is we go to the pictures, and you would select a file. And when you do that, it pulls up um, it pulls up uh, a file directory, and you can select the particular image you want to use. Uh, once you've got that selected, uh, you probably then want to set the on one whatever you want for that and then a couple little tricks here is y you likely want it to fill up the full space at whatever size rectangle you define on the screen and to do that pick it pick this shape here pick shape 13 and that'll fill up the whole thing you'll see what happens if we pick another shape let's say this one you see that it's it's in the recessed area it's probably not what you want if you're going to use custom image you want to use the whole thing and then you want to select this to transparent instead of the, the solid uh, you want the transparent background there um, so so that's that's all there is to that and the button is the same thing where we've using pictures uh, the difference here is we're also using text we haven't used white text against uh, the blue button 
and you can see we'll run it real quick. Looks like we deleted the off image on accident and we'll go to picture zero. We'll select it real I say we're gonna select it real quick. We'll select it right here. Um, and we'll try one more time. And there we go, we got off and on. So that works fine. Uh, these buttons over here, the function buttons, they, you can't really um, demonstrate those on the offline simulation because it affects the, the behavior of the physical device. But you'd be able to reset them uh, to change the sound on and off and change the backlight. We'll show you how those are done in a second here. Um, actually, we'll do that now. Uh, they use these things called function buttons right here. And you can see you can just select through one of them was turn off the backlight. You can restart the HMI. And the other one we're demonstrating here is um, sound on off. And it may take me just a second here. But uh, here you go. Uh, well, that's alarm sound on off. Um, I don't know, a second or two we'd find it here. Uh, there you go, touch sound on off. Um, but you, you got quite a few other options here, so just, just be aware you can control some of the, the functionality of the HMI like that. The, the next thing we'll look at is the numeric uh, input. If you were just wanting to display a number, you could use this numeric display, but in this case we're actually wanting to press a button, have it change the value, um, and we'll demonstrate that real quick. So we press that, and now we can enter a number. And you see we actually have the slider tied to the same, same value. So as we do that, and the slider, you can move the value around as well. And it affects this. And we'll dig into this just a little bit. You, uh, you assign it what kind of data type you want to use, as well as what is the address. In, in this case, we're using local word 200. You then can do some other features. You can limit the range of the actual the numbers, what's allowed to be pressed in there. And you can also do things like uh, control how many digits are displayed. This is a, it's currently defined as a UI, uh, UI 16. So you, know, you can only go so high in numbers. Uh, but then you can also define how many are decimal points, that sort of situation. Slider is real similar. You define the address you're wanting to use as well as the minimum and maximum value. And then you can you can control a lot of stuff. Uh, well, I'm not going to do the dynamic range here, but you can decide what all, you know, what other kinds of things you want shown. Do you want the marks to show, that kind of stuff. Uh, this guy here, this is going to be kind of like a radio button. It's called a single button. And then this is a combo box. And we'll show you what those look like. So you can just, with a single button, you can just select one single thing at a time. These, again, they're tied together. Uh, so when you change it on one of these, it changes on the other. Uh, you can find the single button right here. It's right there. And you can, uh, by default, it goes left to right. But I think in this example, we're going from up to down. And you get to write what text is displayed on each of these. We chose one, two, and three in this case. And you choose the address. I'll actually pick the real example here. So we're using local word 201. And we select the total number of, uh, yeah, the total number of states is right here. So that's why we have one, two, and three to choose from as we chose um, the states. And uh, that, that's, about, that's about it on that guy. Uh, combo box is pretty similar. You again uh, define the address you're wanting to tie to. We're tied to the same one as the last one. And then the total number of items that are on your list. And then you get to define you know, the verbiage there. Uh, so that, that's about it for the basics. Again, we're using a, um, a screen button here. We've got that on top of the home icon. 
and that gets us uh, back to the main page right here. In the next video, we will go through the uh, graph.